Hello everyone, welcome to Lisa's Creative Home. Today we're going to work on five fall DIYs. DIY number one is a sweater pumpkin. To start this DIY, I have three egg shapes, four small rectangle wood pieces, and some orange yarn, and some hot glue. We're going to start by taking the orange yarn and hot gluing it around the egg until it's completely full. The yarn that I used was just some yarn that I already had on hand. I had found it on clearance, but you could use any kind of yarn, any color. You could even use uh, some of the rope that you get at Dollar Tree. Now that I have all three eggs completely covered in yarn, now I'm going to work on the stem. I just have four wood pieces that I got in a mixed bag from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue those on top of each other to form the stem. Now that we have the stem made, we're just going to assemble the pumpkin. I put two of the eggs side by side and then I took the top egg, put hot glue on the sides and then I just pressed it down to connect all three of the eggs together. And then I decided to go ahead and put two popsicle sticks on the back to hold it together a little better and make it a little more durable. Now I'm going to attach the stem with hot glue. Now that the pumpkin is finished, I'm going to add some embellishments. I just took some of this hemp cord. I cut three different lengths. And then I'm just going to hot glue wooden stars to the end of each cord. The little stars that I was using had two holes in it like a button. So I just took the hemp cord and fed it through one hole and out the other and then hot glued it to the back. And then once I had all the buttons attached to the cord, I just made them three different lengths, adjusted them to the way I liked them, tied them together with a little knot, and then I just hot glued the knot to the stem. Now we're going to add a bow to the top of the pumpkin. I just took a piece of ribbon, tied a knot in the middle, and dovetailed the ends. Now we're just going to hot glue it to the stem. And then my little stars wouldn't quite stay in place, so I just took a little hot glue and glued each one of them down. Now I'm just going to add some little wood blocks to the back of the pumpkin so it will stand. Then I decided that the stem was a little short, so I took some wire twine, wrapped it around the stem to form a spring, and I just kept twisting until 
it got smaller and smaller until it made the tip of the stem. And once I got the stem to the length that I wanted it, I just took wire cutters and cut it off. And now I'm just gonna hot glue it into place. Then I decided to add some little tendrils to the sides of the stem and I just had some rusty wire that I had ordered off of eBay and I just wrapped them around a glue stick to form a spring and I did two of those in two different sizes and then I just hot glued them to the sides of the stem. And here is our finished little sweater pumpkin. I think it turned out adorable. Let me know what you think in the comments below. DIY number two. DIY number two is going to be a little more involved. There are going to be two little owls. I'm going to start by making some clay logs. I'm just going to use this air dry clay and then I found these silicone molds from Hobby Lobby. They're actually in the baking section. I'm going to make all three logs in the mold and I'm going to have to let these air dry overnight and I did this twice so each owl would have three little logs on their display. Now I'm going to work on the owls. I have two wood rounds, some wood circles, some large and some small, some wood leaves, some little gems for the eyes that I got from Hobby Lobby, and then two long narrow wood pieces that I'm going to use for the beak, and then I'm going to use the wood stars for their feet. Now I'm just going to stain all the wood pieces except for the small circle with walnut wood tint from Folk Art. The small wood circles I'm going to paint in the color Cashew from Waverly. I'm going to use the stars for the feet, so I'm going to cut one point of the star off so they will set a little better on the bottom of the wood rounds. Now that all my wood pieces are dry, I'm going to start to assemble the face of the owl. I'm using the long skinny wood piece as its beak, and then I'm just hot gluing these into place. I'm going to use the wood circles for their eyes and I'm just going to glue the large one on and then I'm going to put the smaller one on top of the large to create an eye. Now I'm going to work on the wings and I just used two different shaped leaves to make it look like wings. And then I just hot glued the leaves into place.
Now I'm going to hot glue the little gems onto the smaller circles and I just got these at Hobby Lobby and they were in the fall section. And next I just glued the little stars to the bottom of the owl to create the feet. And here he is all put together. He is so cute. And I'm just going to go through the same process with the small one. Now that my little logs are dry, I'm going to paint them. Originally, I painted them with Java, and I really didn't like the color. I didn't think it looked really like wood. So then I went back in with some acrylic paint and the color Burnt Umber, and that definitely gave it more of a wood look. I dried them a little bit before I added some highlights with the color Cashew. And then I decided to add some ears to our little owl. So on the smaller owl, I just used wood hearts that I turned upside down and I just hot glued them to the back of its head and gave its ears a coat of walnut stain. Now I'm going to attach the owl to another wood round so he'll stand up. I'm going to work on the little pumpkins now. These were little like base fillers that I got at Hobby Lobby and they didn't have any stems on them. So I just took little pieces of twine and hot glued them to the top to make little stems. Now I'm just going to hot glue everything into place. I have some little fall leaves that I hot glued on and then I'm going to hot glue the little logs into place. I'm also going to add some green moss around the logs and then I'm going to glue the little pumpkins into place.
Now I'm going to work on the large owl. Instead of doing the hearts on the large owl, I decided to do some little triangles instead. And I just hot glued them to the back of the head and gave them a coat of walnut stain. And on the base of the large owl, I just did the same thing that I did with the small, added the leaves, the logs, and the pumpkins, and the green moss. And here they are finished. I love this adorable little set. DIY number three. I'm going to be making two wood pumpkins out of the wood Jenga blocks from Dollar Tree. To start this DIY, you're going to need 20 Jenga blocks and some hot glue. You're going to need to divide your 20 Jenga blocks into five groups of four. And then we're going to hot glue four together at a time using your L square. Once we get those all glued together, we're going to take those and glue the four pieces together to form a wood pumpkin. And then the last set of four, we're going to glue to the top. This time we're going to be gluing together six blocks instead of four. And we're going to use our L square to keep them straight. I wanted to add a few more blocks to this pumpkin because I wanted one to be a little taller than the other. And I just repeated the same process with the tall pumpkin and just glued all the sides together. And then I glued together four more blocks to create the top. Next, I'm going to give it a coat of paint and I'm going to paint down the color pumpkin from Waverly. Now I'm going to work on the stem. I just took one brown Jenga block and I cut it equally in half with my miter shears. I glued one half to one pumpkin and one half to the other pumpkin. Now I'm going to add some embellishments to the top of the pumpkins. On the right side, I added some fall leaves. And on the left side, I just took some florals, I cut off a couple leaves and a flower, and I'm going to add those to the left side.
Now I'm gonna work on my stem again. I'm gonna make it a little longer. I wanted it to kind of have a coil stem where it kind of leans to the side. So I just took some wired twine and twisted it around the handle of my silicone spatula. And then I just cut the end of the wire with wire cutters. And then I noticed the ends were kind of frayed. So then I just took some hot glue and kind of touched it and wrapped it around the end so it wouldn't fray so much. Then I just took the stem and kind of stretched it and turned it until I liked the way it looked. And now I'm just gonna hot glue it to the wood stem to attach it. And then I just did this same process with the other pumpkin. I really liked how the little coil stems made the pumpkins look. They turned out so cute. And here they are displayed on our buffet table in our little two-tier tray. DIY number four. In this DIY, we're going to be making three yarn candy corn. To start this DIY, we're going to use a sheet of foam board. Now I need to cut out some triangles. And to make this easier, I made a pattern out of cardboard so they would all be the same size. We are going to need three triangles for each candy corn. Now that I have all the triangles cut out, I'm going to take three and hot glue them together. I'm going to do this three times. And once I got all my triangles glued together, I took my sander and sanded off each sharp edge to make them look a little more rounded. And now we're going to start hot gluing the yarn to the triangle shapes. I have a yellow, an orange, and a white, and I'm just going to start at the bottom. And I'm going to continue to wrap each color until the triangle is completely covered.
now that I finished wrapping all the yarn onto the candy corn, the yarn that I used was a little fuzzy, so it started to fray. So I just took some Mod Podge and a glove, and I just took my fingers and kind of put a light coat over top of the candy corn, and it made them just look a little smoother and a little more neat. And here they are, all finished. When I first displayed them, I put them in a little wood tote with some pine cones and some greenery. And I really liked how that looked. But they also look really nice just by themselves, standing on this little wood slice with some fall leaves. DIY number five. This DIY is going to be a set of fall pumpkins. I'm going to make these pumpkins out of two carat treat bags that I got from Dollar Tree. They were part of the spring collection. I'm just going to turn the treat bags inside out and then I'm going to take some twine, tie off the tip of the carrot, and then turn them right side out. Now I'm just going to stuff the pumpkins with some polyfill. Now I'm going to work on the stems. I just pulled the drawstring on the top of the bags, tied a knot, and then cut off the excess ribbon and I did this on both pumpkin. Now I'm going to take some twine, I'm going to wrap it around the base of the stem and then I'm just going to start wrapping until a stem starts to form. And then I just cut off the excess of the green fabric that I didn't want and I continue to hot glue the twine on the top of the stem until it's completely covered. To create the ridges in the pumpkin, I'm going to wrap twine around the pumpkin four times. Now I'm going to make a wood base for the pumpkins and I'm just going to glue four Jenga blocks together to create a rectangle and then I'm just going to hot glue the pumpkins on top of the base. And I'm just going to do the whole process with the second pumpkin that I did with the first. Next, I added some Spanish moss to the top of the pumpkins.
Now I'm going to add some fall berries and leaves to the top of the pumpkins. I just love the way the little spring stems look, so I'm going to create a couple for these pumpkins. I'm just going to take some rusty wire, I'm going to wrap them around a paintbrush handle until I get to the length that I like, and then I'm just going to hot glue them in place. And here is our little pumpkin set. I think they are so cute and it's hard to believe that they were made out of carrot treat bags. Thank you for joining me today for these five fall DIYs. I had so much fun creating these DIYs. Let me know which one is your favorite. If you made it to this point in the video, leave me a leaf emoji down in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and I'll see you in the next one.